Well, good evening, peeps. It's Monday night. We're kicking off our week of getting ready for our next certification. We're going to do some uh, chat, do a little talking about where we're at. We're going to meditate. We're going to think. We're going to drink a little coffee, too. So, um, and we're going to talk a little bit about rockets. Not much, but this is from the Falcon 9 launch um, this morning. I believe it was. Was it this morning or yesterday morning? Not, I don't remember exactly. This was in California, not here in beloved Central Florida, but uh, for the first time they returned a Stage 1 Block 5 um, rocket to Earth to land, not just out to uh, the drone ship uh, out at sea, but returned it to land, and it landed very close to the takeoff point. So the landing pad was built next to the uh, launch pad, pretty much, which is really cool. Anyway, good stuff. Uh, we got folks in the chat, mentors, Mark Milo is here, the music playing was worth coming by itself. Yeah, it was, man. I actually like that little mix, uh, and that's a free mix uh, for YouTube, anyway. Um, yeah, definitely keep the fan on your prayers, keep uh, peeps as hurricanes ramping up. Oh, yeah, is that, I'm wondering, mentor, mentors I know is in the Tampa area. I hope it's not shifting your way, man. Uh, I try to check on my. Uh, my mother, she lives in the Panhandle area. So anyway, just checking on them. But yeah, not hitting this way this time. Uh, oh, you're on the thunderstorm warning. Yeah. The fact of life of living in such a nice place like the Sunshine State of Florida does come with its uh, perils. Uh, aside from red tide, shark attacks, and the occasional hurricane. So... We'll have to wait a few more days to see how bad it'll be. I doubt it'll be reached out to Fort Myers. Oh, Fort Myers. Okay, yeah. A lot of Floridians in here. Um, yeah, surfing weather. <laughs> You're brave. You're a brave soul, I have to say. Well, thanks for stopping by, folks. going to keep it brief just because I don't have a ton of things to share. I uh, got real busy yesterday uh, evening, and I ended up working on a little project till, I don't know, till about bedtime. So... And it was not CCIE directly related. But yeah, woo, go Florida State. Ah, you made me say that on stream, mentors. I am from Alabama originally. So, therefore, you know where at least um, <laughs> uh, enemies of, of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Yes, sir, Roll Tide. And I'm not just a Johnny Come Lately. I've been, a Roll, I've been an Alabama fan. Since a wee young one, so <laughs> yeah, he did on purpose, Jimmy. I know he did. So anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna redo the roll on the giveaway. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about multicast written exam, uh, LinkedIn updates. So that that was my little uh, trees and turncoat. I know, right? Uh, we won't start a war here in the chat. Family's divided. Our family's not divided here, folks. Our networking family, not yet, anyway. <laughs> College football is one thing they could turn turn it on its heels but anyway um yeah i don't know folks you all know how i how i believe in terms of personal branding marketing i've had this on my to-do list for a while and that is to go and update my linkedin based on kind of my new responsibilities at work yeah good bits man send them out but um i decided you know it, it's time it's been now uh, it's been like a couple months it's hard to believe um going on about two months and i thought i need to go in and update it and you know how it has a banner at the top in linkedin well you know i couldn't leave that alone i've left it alone for a long time but as i'm going in and you know linkedin is the kind of thing where once in a while you go in and you do a remodel it's kind of like a house you you build it you think it's good for a while you leave it standing the way it is for a while you don't mess with it but once in a while you just realize it's out of date it needs some touch up or it needs a little maintenance or it needs a little you know remodel i need as much as a remodel so especially with new responsibilities i want to tout you know kind of some of the cloud things i'm doing now cloud engineering um i d yeah like a girlfriend <laughs> uh we won't go there dude friend we won't go there uh at least not on stream um discord discord uh but yeah so anyway um I did that, and I realized I needed to updo the banner. I didn't want to just copy clip art from somewhere, although I'm not. I have done that before. Some of the art you see on my channel 
is just from clip art I found, like little video clips, uh, photos, things like that. I'm very aware of trying to use things that are not copyright. Um, even like these, I try to give credit on the backgrounds I use in wallpaper images. Um, YouTube and tw even Twitch is getting a little more strict on those kind of things. And, you know, you want to give credit where credit is due, right? So for some of the artwork I've used here and there, uh, like the logo I built, it's not the best logo in the world. It works. Um, I got that from, you know, work that is not copyrighted. It's free for, it's public domain, basically. But I couldn't really find, uh, I'm like, you know what, I just need to create like a little diagram or something for my LinkedIn page that is original. Yeah, GPDR uh, especially. Um, I want to create some artwork that's original and that is, you know, somewhat called attention to the skills I use. So I just did a little diagram. And that diagram took me longer than I thought. Uh, updating LinkedIn, I updated my headline, some other things like that. And then I had to do some errands yesterday. I didn't get any study time uh, all last night. I got a little bit today. Yeah, GDPR is already valid in the EU. Lucky us. That's why. Um, well, that's why we get all these cookie warnings uh, or acknowledgments things, right, these days. But, but yeah, anyway, it's important, you know, to observe, uh, protect the work of others. Um, I have seen lately on Twitter, like even David Bomble has cited uh, – PowerPoint slides he has seen used in presentations at technical conferences that is artwork that belongs to him or intellectual property that belongs to him. And he, first of all, he was not asked and it was not used with his permission and he was, it was used without even crediting him. So I try to be really aware of that where possible. When you're a content creator, period, uh, now, Twitter, you can get away with, like, memes and things like that. But legitimately putting out content, and I try to put out content every day, uh, at least once or twice to um, Instagram and Twitter and, of course, here. And it's very important to try to use, uh, not share the work of others. And if you do, get permission, or if they allow you to do that, give them credit, right? I'm very aware of doing that on screen with, like, network lessons. I like to show part of things because I know, like, for example, Renee Molinar will allow you to see part of his page. You get halfway down, then you have to log in, right? So, you know, I'm sensitive to those things. I respect the work of others. Um, but anyway, I did come up with, like, a new little piece of art. I just did it in Visio. Yeah, man. Thank you, mentors. Got to. Got to. This is a small community. And um, there, you know, I just revised. I'm going to talk about that, by the way. Discord. Made some changes in Discord channels. And I need to tweak some other things. Got some good suggestions uh, from some of the other folks. But anyway, what um, there's rules in there about, you know, sharing material or asking for images, things like that. It's a very small community. So whether it's copyright protection of, of images or workbooks or artwork or slides or things like that, uh, people can get away with it, but sooner or later it may, may come to haunt you, especially this is it's a rather small network community. It's growing, which is great. I love what's happening, the growth that's happening. But, but yeah, that's, that's, what, uh, that's how I feel about it anyway. So let me see if I can show this. It's actually kind of sad, like the amount of work I put into it. I think I just copied. Uh, so I just did a little drawing. Um, that's something I'm going to post in Instagram tomorrow. Yeah, so I just did like a little... Just, you know, how you have that little background. So I wanted to highlight some of the technologies that uh, are prominent Azure and important, even with Azure networking. Uh, storage replication, uh, paired regions, paired uh, Azure regions is an important concept. Express route, BGP, service fabric, uh, templating, Ansible, things like that is some things I try to highlight. And it's really important, you know, uh, not only your... I mean, this is where you market yourself. And granted, I'm not looking for a job right now. Like I, I'm not out uh, 
clicking on job links or anything like that, but it's like anything else. If you wait until the last minute to build your LinkedIn profile or to keep it up to date, it's really a pain. And if you maintain it as things change or as you notice something that needs to be updated, uh, it's a really good idea. And I try to do it at least like once a year, even if there's nothing else that triggers me to go do it. At least once a year. Um, my Pimp Linux box. I know, Pimp My Linux Ride, right? Um, yeah, I know it's kind of mellow, the coloring and everything, but <laughs> I don't know, I've got a conservative, you know. Um, I have a gray truck, you know, so anyway, and, and I love my gray, gray painted truck, but uh, move on to the written progress, kind of what I was getting to there, folks, I had to arrange for some additional travel, I got some family things to take care of, I've mentioned this before, um, it took up some of my time, like, it, like at lunch today, I couldn't study because I was taking care of an upcoming, like, family responsibility I have. And that's going to take away some time uh, next week, for example. Um, I knew this was coming. I accounted for it. I rescheduled my written exam. But it could very well be that I have to reschedule it again. And maybe uh, I think it's due for him is getting ready for the written, thinking by end of the year, January or something. Maybe we'll line up. I was thinking about that, too. I actually had a dream last night uh, about you, dude, for him. Because um, <laughs> I know you're getting ready for the written. And uh, last Friday, December, okay, have you scheduled it yet? Like you, um, I may just line up with you. And you know what I was thinking, dude, for him, would be really cool is maybe what we could do is as we're studying material and we think of kind of more difficult areas of the written, um, instead of like trading labs, you know how a lot of people will trade labs when they're getting ready for the, the written lab, or I'm sorry, for the CCI writing and switching uh, lab exam, they'll trade labs with each other, try to stump each other to really help, you know, see, test their knowledge. Maybe you and I can do that um, in Discord or something like that. I, I'm going to, I'm going to DM you on Discord because I want to see if we can try to find ways to trip each other up to get ready for the written exam. And I was thinking, too, you know, uh, 34 days away, I really don't think because of these responsibilities I have, the time. Then I've got um, another trip planned um, coming up that is family related. So anyway, I'm thinking of putting it off. And I was thinking maybe we could line ourselves up, you know, and uh, really like partner up on our written exam some so i'm glad you're on the channel tonight because i wanted to to throw that at you this actually literally occurred to me in a dream like i was saying uh was this morning or something i was like i was writing out this really hard written question that I, I had made up and i had emailed it to you and you emailed it right back with the answer i was like ah it was something like that so maybe we can do that um, yes, January 20th is a big time for many in our numbers. Uh, what do you got coming up, mentors? Is your two years? Uh, I know you passed a written. Uh, how much longer do you have to ride that written out? Uh, Mark Mila, I sort of avoid updating these types of services only because my employer would be very offended and believe I am looking to leave. Well, I've been hesitant about that too, Mark Milo. I'm glad you brought, bring that up because here's the thing with employers. I, it, you know, every employer is different. But I have to say, I update mine frequently enough that they know that just because I do an update, they don't really have to be worried. I have known employers like that. Like, I know employers that, you know, because, of course, usually before you go get that job, you connect with those people on LinkedIn, or as soon as you get the job, they connect with you on LinkedIn. So they see your updates most often. And I had a boss comment to me one time about that. I noticed you update your LinkedIn profile. Well, over time, what they're going to learn is that you want to grow. You want to keep your resume, you know, your resume, quote unquote, LinkedIn resume and uh, profile up to date. And really a good employer should not have a problem with that. One, they see, you know, one appealing thing I've been doing a round of interviews lately, you know, I posted a job and I've been inter helping interview people for that job. And lately I've been really impressed with people who show hunger, you know, like they show ambition. 
you want to see that. You don't want to get someone who's going to be just a bump on a stump, right? So, uh, you know, I get what you're saying, but I would highly encourage you to, you know, maybe you get a strong reaction the first time you update LinkedIn, but as you continue to keep it up to date every few months, adding things, and, you know, LinkedIn is important to post to. I post to LinkedIn not very often, but once in a while I want to have a good article or a good video like I did one on Even G lately that I thought would help because people, people have started to follow me on LinkedIn, not just from employers and employees, but people in this community have started to follow me and I've started to follow them. So I actually have good communications with like Dimitri and others, and it's important to post regularly on LinkedIn. Uh, a lot of good chats on this subject. I think we touched a nerve, right? Um, you can export labs from Even G, can you not? I can't export labs from Even G. Absolutely, that's what a lot of people do, Mark Milo, and that's what a mentor, a CCIE mentor, told me, Tom Ammon. He said, uh, when you're preparing for the lab exam, you need a partner, and that's what part of this channel is all about. That you need to be able to, you need to be building your own labs and breaking your own labs and trading them in Even G or whatever your labbing software could be, because. Figuring out how to break your lab actually teaches you a lot. So, um, agree, good plan. Taking this to the Jan second attempt and ADF center as well. That's awesome. Okay, January second attempt. Oh, you're, you so you have a date in January. I, that's just now dawning on me, mentors, for the written. Uh, I mean, the um, lab exam. Where are you taking it? Are you taking it in uh, RTP? Got to get that written taken care of. Yes, me too. Hey, show is on too as well. That's awesome. We got celebs in here. Uh, Mark Miller, they're a bit weird like that. They really did not acknowledge me passing the, wow, CCMP artist switch, but got offended if you do things such as keeping your profiles up to date. Weird place at times, tough at times. Okay, well, you know, don't let that, uh, I mean, I would say I understand, you know, you, you know your situation better than anyone else. I certainly cannot judge it. And I know I'm sure you have good judgment in these regards. I just would not want you to, to miss networking opportunities in the networking community in general. Um, because there's people that, that are putting out posts or posts that you miss or things that um, people may come across your profile and not ask to follow because they see that it looks a little stale or out of date. Um, you know, personal marketing, marketing your own brand is extremely important. I've said that many times. And LinkedIn is one of those, especially marketing in our field. If you want to market your skills, keep them up to date, network with others uh, outside of just your the circle of your employer and employees, growing that network, LinkedIn is vital for that. And I'd hate you to, for you to miss out on some of that because... Uh, your employer might be a little insecure. Um, show you got the right answer. That is correct, sir. Um, do for him. I have a nice job now. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. I have a phone interview for a CCMP CCI position. Wow. That's huge. Um, you have nothing on LinkedIn. Interesting. Yeah, now that's not to say that because your LinkedIn looks like, you know, you did some networking in the 90s, that doesn't mean that you're not a great prospect for a good position. Uh, I don't want to say that at all. You know, it's not all about the LinkedIn, but LinkedIn is a tool and it, will cer it can certainly help you expand your network. I have come to learn about posts. Uh, there's some people, you know, and some content only gets posted on LinkedIn. Um, so I've liked those, I've shared those, I've posted my own thing. It, it's actually really good. Like if you have a blog or a YouTube channel or whatever content, you know, whatever you're doing as a content creator, LinkedIn is a great place to promote it as well. Some people could take that wrong, but you know, um, I do it. Also do we get most bits. Best of luck, my friend. Yeah. Great luck on the, on the interview, man. We are, we're pulling for you. RTP, that's awesome, mentors. Folks, let us know in Discord. Maybe we need a channel for this, but let us know when your date's coming close. 
so we can send you good bits or we can, you know, help you prepare mentally, emotionally, physically, whatever. Um, you know, we want to give that uh, that community support. You know, let us know. And plus, um, that's okay if you if you don't want to. Now I understand that too. Like some people, they don't want, they don't want to set a whole lot of expectation, and then have to explain when they fail. You know, but I try. I, me personally, I don't look at it that way. Um, I, I'm pretty much a transparent, open book. So as you all know, here I am. But it has really helped me to talk to the community. I I, I remember when uh, <laughs> I'm going to share an experience with a uh, show IP interface brief. Like we were all active on Discord. We arrived at Cisco Live this year, and you know I had scheduled mine for Sunday, like just getting there, and I was taking the exam, and I went dark all of a sudden, like. And people, you know, show was worried about me. Like he was like, Quentin, where are you? Where are you? How'd you do? What, what you know, how'd you do? And uh it made me feel good. I felt in the in in the gutter, you know, uh there for a while. That's a natural reaction. But I got back on Discord, I was trying to locate people and and you know, it was great to have that support. I really appreciate it. So that's that's how I look at it. Um Agreed. As I'm moving forward with growing, recently picked up the book Building and Story Brand. Donna Miller start progressing on that side. Let me know how you like that book, Mark Milo. In fact, um, I know that um, Network Collective has like a books channel in their Slack. I've been thinking about doing that. Um, I do try to read like on the plane, things like that, uh, motivational books too. Let us know how what you think about that. Agreed. I use several platforms as well as GitHub to pro yeah, GitHub's a great one. Uh, promote my research and share for others to share and learn. As I mean, I'm home pretty much solo and low key with my personal journey. I know hard to believe, fam. I go dark sometimes. Well, lol, will do. Yeah, it's it happens. Mentors. Well, you got a lot going on too, mentor. We understand. Um, so yeah, good stuff, guys. So that's where I'm at. We'll see. I did get a little bit of. I'm almost done with this RPF lesson. Um. I'm gonna hit that hard tonight for sure. Like no distractions. I'm gonna to try to finish that. And as I get closer, I may reschedule. Thanks for letting me know your date, dude. For him, I may try to line up with that if it's available at my scheduling center. And I'm definitely gonna be damning you and getting a plan together to attack this written man. Um, by the end of this year would be awesome if we both pass a written. So Discord channels, we did a few little changes. Uh, for those of you who are active in the Discord, if you're not, definitely sign up. Uh, this is where a lot of the, the values in the community, for those of us who've gotten to know each other, I created, I uh, broke out the links and added some. We got a cloud DevOps security now, uh, which is, there seems to be so much going on with security. So um, it was just getting hard, like in a single day sometimes, like I posted to today, but um, to find them, so this will help, and we got a random core security. Also, what else did I do? We got a landing pad now where people. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. YYZ had a great suggestion about um, making us some adjustments here so people the the rules don't scroll. Um, and any suggestions you all have, we've got a, a several mods here too can create uh, additional channels. So um, yeah, get that written, man. Get bits. I'm going to need them. Die first, then quit. Hoorah. That's right, man. Um, so, yeah. Uh, giveaway follow-up. So, as I mentioned in Discord, uh, the person who was announced never checked in, so I don't even know if I can ship it to them. Uh, mentors had a good idea. Let's just give them 24 hours, which I thought was, was very fair. So, what I'm going to do is the same thing as yesterday. If I can remember the command, uh, I have to go to my history. But what we'll do is we'll just get a list from the chat. We've actually got, if this is accurate, we've got more in here than we did yesterday. So, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to use bash and do a random command here. A command to generate a random integer.
But Nananen, you were the one who won yesterday, so I, you know, feel free to post something in the chat if you're still here, and we won't even do this roll. But you're the one who won the roll yesterday. And I haven't seen you in chat. Uh, you can also, now, whoever wins on this one, uh, post here in the chat, at least just to let me know. In fact, if you want to make sure, yeah, just post in the chat. Let me know that you're here. And we don't need to re-roll anything else. And also, uh, whisper me on Twitch, or you can DM me on Twitter. However you need to contact me, just contact me within the next 24 hours with your the address that you want me to ship it to in the United States. So, oh yeah, show said to exclude him. Appreciate that, my, my man. Um, all right, so we're going to do this roll here. And let me see if I can find... Oh, here is a jot command. Yeah. So we're going to do uh, find one integer between 1 and 15, a random. So here we go, folks. Yeah, 1 and 15. Oh, I don't need myself. I'm not going to ward myself. Uh, banana, banana, banana. I never got a response, man. So, so uh, or, or lady, who, whatever the case may be, I, I apologize, but... The show must go on. So here we go. Let's go to. Uh, what's the number? One and 13. Yep. Drum roll, please. Drrr. Number eight. Polize. Polize. You are the winner, Polize. Let me know if. You have a shipping address in the United States. Please let me know that in the chat. And we will send you... Where is it? I have it around my desk here somewhere. Blue Snowball. Mic. Microphone. You know, you might become a superstar... YouTuber or streamer with this thing. Polize. Let me see if he's still in the chat. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Like, right now, if I do... It says users in chat. Account created October 2nd. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, you know what, uh, folks? I think I'm just going to keep rolling till we get somebody in chat because um, October 2nd, that's an account created six days ago. Um, what this could be, too, is I think in order for you to chat is you have to be... Doesn't show me in the list. Okay, trench man. I'm not sure why that is. Let me try to go. Let me reopen this window here and refresh. Interesting, trench man. You're obviously logged in and your turbo, so you're using your account. Um, all right, yeah, we're gonna. I can't really keep extending this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add. If there is there anyone else in the chat who's not listed here, type something in the chat. Oh, could be, could be. All right, we're gonna put your name in here. Oh, dude, for him. Yeah, you mentioned that yesterday. We're gonna take you off, and we're gonna re-roll because. I can't keep, uh, okay, Mark Milo's out. All right, good deal, good deal. So we're down to 11. 
Yeah, I'm just going to have to keep going. Um, type in the chat if your name is not there. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, you told me about that. That's right. Okay, so we're down to 10. Okay, at... Uh, We can pi pickle a number, yes. All right, so I think we're gonna go ahead. Anybody else who is not listed here and would like the microphone, please type your name in the chat or please make a comment in the chat. Going once, going twice, going three times. All right, re-roll. Yeah, because otherwise it could, this could go on forever. Uh, we got eight again. Wow, what's the likelihood of that? Starman226, you are the winner. Uh, network, uh, fellow networker, but you must uh, acknowledge in the chat. And I'm going to give, like, um, I don't know, we'll give to for another minute here. What's a good timer app? Yeah, congrats if uh, we get a we could get an acknowledgement here. Let's go with one minute. It's okay. You know, I've done this that many times. Um, yeah, so we'll let that go. Uh, while, while we're waiting on a response here, we'll move ahead because I know it's probably getting boring if you folks just wait. Can't even give away a microphone. Um, yeah, maybe we should do a lab in the meantime. Well, let's let's hit on this. I don't know if everybody saw it, but think about this command, the distance command for BGP, and the parameters or the options X, Y, and Z. Okay? Um, a lot of people know about X and Y, but... What goes here in Z? And if you scroll up, you'll see uh, show got the answer. Uh, does anyone else want to gander what this means? Distance, BGP, X, Y, and Z. Well, X is... Well, first of all, the distance command is... Uh, what is the administrative distance of... A BGP route, whether it be external, internal, or local, right? So what are the defaults? Okay, maybe you didn't get all those. What are the defaults? We know for an external BGP route, AD is 200. I'm sorry, 20. <laughs> uh, in IBGP routes, 200. And local, 200. I believe I'm right on that. I think I'm right on that. Yeah, 2200, 200. Oh, very good. Those are the faults. And of course, if you wanted to change, um, you have some IBGP routes that you're learning, and you want to, or you have some EBGP routes that you're learning, but you want them to be, to not be preferred. You could say distance BGP to 10, right? Very good, folks. Excellent. Okay, our timer ran out. Let's roll again. Uh, who was it that got it last time? Starman, right? All right. Sorry, Starman. All right, let's get a winner this time. It's down to nine, folks. Number six, Skinny Seahorse. Skinny Seahorse. It's picking everyone who hasn't typed in the chat window yet. All right, Skinny horse, Seahorse, uh, we're giving you a minute to respond. And what else we have? All right, we're going to continue on the vlog here. We're going to share a couple of... I had an interesting discussion um, about this in, 
was it? Yeah, it was on Instagram. I posted uh, showing an image of IPv6, you know, from my iPhone. Like I took a screenshot from the iPhone kind of showing the the fact that you have your IP address is a global IP, but your router address, a.k.a., uh, well, in Windows 7, it calls it your uh, gateway address, which is really your IPv6 router. It uses a link local, FE80. So the comment was, man, IPv6, it sure would be nice if only people were using it, but no one is using it. And my reply was, well, you know, I, I sort of had that in the back of my mind that really IPv6, why do I need to go deep? Because I had this little bit of bias in my mind that it's not really a big deal. There's not really a huge you know, population of people using it. Well, I've been wrong on doing my research. Um, this is just one place. Um, I downloaded another report that shows a lot of different uh, sites where you can go and look at statistics from service providers, etc. cetera. Uh, Google, of course, anybody coming to Google uh, IPv6, I think, yeah, that's the main page. Uh, we're continuously measuring the availability. The graph shows percentage of users access Google over IPv6. Yep, IoT, uh, mobile users, service providers, CDN, content delivery networks are using it heavily. In fact, some CDNs with their, with their customers, you know, a lot of your Facebooks, Instagrams are using CDNs, right? A lot of CDNs are using IPv6 traffic, some of them like at 90 to 100%, depending on who their customer is. They're doing IPv6. Yeah, great for spammers too, unfortunately. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, just people hitting Google, and you know these are a lot of mobile users right now, or... People at home, like me, who are leveraging IPv6 primarily. Um, and notice the trend. Like Mark Milo saying, when starting the NP, it felt like just so, so, so expected you to know it, even though the CCNA was really live on it. I felt the same way, Mark Milo. Like when I went from CCNA to CCMP, I was like, whoa, there's a lot of IPv6 stuff in here. Why do I even care? Uh, but so apparently I believe there's a much larger need than most people lead you to believe. Uh, that is correct. There are a lot of Debbie Downers about IPv6. Um, but as I've been seeing, um, a lot of people are now taking advantage of it, um, even in the United States. So uh, forget some other countries. Some other countries are heavily invested in IPv6, like 80% of their traffic. Um, but yeah, there's some really good material you can research out there. And the fact that Packet Pushers now has an IPv6 podcast with 10 episodes already, which I can't believe and I need to catch up on, really excites me about IPv6. IPv6 is something that I used to dread. And due to studying for the written, or yeah, the CCA written, I am now very excited about. Like, giddy excited beyond what I probably should be about IPv6. Uh, I, I love it. I, I would love to do just a vlog on IPv6, to be honest, but one of many things I would like to do one on. All right, so we, we're going to reroll it here. We had uh, the Skinny Seahorse. We're down to eight. The Not-So-Hateful Eight. All right, so let's see what happens here. Another roll. Where's my window? Here it is. Nope. Lost my terminal window. That's okay. All right, going to eight. Number seven. Subcentral.net. Subcentral.net. I've not seen you in the, in the chat. Your timer has started. Um, I was lucky enough to have worked with the book, the only IP book you will ever need. Still surprised when I saw the amount of info on the exam, Mark Milo. Oh, so Mark Milo, you talk about the NP exam, like the uh, route exam um, in IPv6. Well, take the back. It could be the CCMP. Uh, okay, yeah, the CCMP route or T-shoot, right? It could potentially be on there. Uh, well, let me just put it this way, Mark Milo. If you do end up going the routing and switching IE direction, 
get ready for it. It is definitely on the IE exams um, for sure. So that's one reason I've tried to spend a lot of time with it and taking the effort to set up my home network. And, and, and folks, if you have, like, I don't know which ISPs allow you to do this for residential customers. For me, they had actually already assigned a slash 64 to my router. I just had to turn on DHCP v6. That's really all I had to do, and I was on IPv6. Well, to take that back. I had to turn on DHCP v6 on my home router, and I had to change my default DNS servers because the DNS servers they gave me, first of all, they were IPv4, which is okay. I wanted to send the queries IPv6, though, but I had to manually change on the router. I had to manually change the router, uh, statically put in some DHCP, I'm sorry, some DNS servers that supported uh, IPv6. And that's why I use 1.1.1.1. And I'm referring to their host name, not their IPv4 address. <laughs> so what I mean by that is, um, by the way, on the Windows, on a Windows machine, if you do NS lookup and you're using 1.1.1.1, it will return the quadruple A record by default. On a Mac, you have to set the type first if you want to see the IPv6, the quadruple A address. Weird, I know, but uh, but yeah, I encourage people to do that to really learn it. Um, have not tried a while back as there was issue with Comcast IPv6. Not sure if that's still the case. Could be. Yeah, I don't know. I'm on Spectrum. I was actually kind of surprised. Uh, Verizon, I know, heavily uses IPv6. And we've got another role. Maybe it will pick someone this time who is actually in the chat. Again, I don't. I, I'm new to how this stuff works uh, on Twitch with uh, rolling. Um, let's try it again. Next roll, folks. Down to seven. Number seven. Trenchman. Trenchman, you are the winner. If you're in it, still in here, um, please remark in the chat. Hopefully you haven't left. You're on mobile. I will start a countdown for you. Give us a... Uh, type something in the chat here. All right. Congratulations, Trench Man. Uh, you are the winner of the... Snowball microphone. And we're not expecting you to start a YouTube channel right away. We'll give you at least a week. Take a week if you want. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, this is your mic. It, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, this is a Snowball Ice. It's called Black Snowball Ice. Um, it, it's good stuff. So... Yeah, man, you are the winner. Good. Congratulations. Uh, what you can do is, uh, hey, DeBizzle, oh, DeBizzle's in the house. Um, he had to add to the suspense. <laughs> yeah, he waited to acknowledge. The countdown just went down to zero, but thankfully, Trenchman responded in time. You're very welcome, Trenchman, and thank you, everyone here in the community, who is, gives me energy to keep going in this journey, this, this long-haul journey. Uh, but what you can do is just DM me, either on Twitter or here. You can whisper me. Um, I think you have to add me as, as a friend to whisper, and that's fine. I don't know how. Yeah, I'm not a big whisper user. Um, I am Twitter at the Land Tamer, Instagram at the Land Tamer. Just let me know. I'm Trench Man, and um, that would be awesome, Trench Man. And now you have a great mic to do it with. So. So thank you so much for being here in the chat, hanging out, and congratulations on the microphone, and who knows, we may have just created a monster in a good way. Okay, Trenchman, thank you, cool. Yeah, just DM me on Twitter with your, with the address that you want me to ship it to. It can be anywhere. Um, and that would be an awesome blog, man. I didn't realize you're working on the CCMP uh, T-shoot. 
the T shoot was my favorite exam by far. I loved it. So that's going to wrap it up, folks. Thanks so much for hanging out. I have one other meat chunk. Sorry. That is this channel. If you're into um, cloudy things, agile, DevOps, uh, you know, they recently had a slew of Ignite announcements. And I was, I found this channel earlier today. Um, Microsoft Azure ha actually has a tips and tricks series. And this is the actual link to the channel. So, you know, definitely check out some cloudy things. Um, I highly recommend this. This is some tips and tricks for ARM Resource Explorer. That's a very specific video. But if you check out the channel, they come out with, and they're brief. They're like two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Um, and if you want to learn a little more about cloud, maybe that's kind of a way to get a start. Subscribe to that channel. Uh, every few days when they pop out a short video, just expose yourself to it if you're not yet exposed to it and just start to see kind of what is going on out there in the cloud uh, because it's coming. Uh, I will share a link, Lantern, just for, for DerbyCon streams if you peeps may want to view. Yeah, definitely uh, post that, mentors. So thanks a lot, folks. That'll wrap it up. It's Monday. So it's Monday. What do we do on Monday? We plan. We get ready for the rest of the week. I try to think about, okay, next Sunday... Where do I want to be in my study plan or in my workbook? Whatever you're working on, Monday is a good day to reflect on that. Um, hopefully you've rested well this weekend and done a little lab and you kind of know where you're at. Reassess, you know, what's your countdown, where I'm at, how far do I need to go, where do I need to be at in a week, and what, you know, piece of technology or protocol or something do i really want to learn this week learn really well lab every day yeah man uh so thanks everyone in the chat appreciate it uh congratulations again to trench man and definitely give us a follow here folks on twitch if you're not following the channel yet um also if you have an amazon prime sub that you haven't used you get one free twitch prime sub a month and uh, feel free to use it here. Sub to us on YouTube as well and Instagram, Twitter. And we'll keep encouraging each other. And above all else, the Discord channel. So we can commensurate with all many fine folks that are part of that Discord server. And uh, including several streamers. So thanks so much, folks. Uh, sending good bits to everybody for the rest of the week. Let's hit it hard. And let's get those certs. See y'all next time, tomorrow, same time, here at Land Tamer Stream, 7 p.m. Eastern. And we'll see you then.